Yemen's Houthis said on Sunday that they had attacked two civilian ships along with an American destroyer in the Red Sea and Arabian Sea their latest effort to disrupt shipping in what they say is support for Palestinians in Gaza. In a statement, the Houthi military spokesperson, Yahya Saria, said the militant group fired ballistic missiles at the American destroyer, naval missiles at a ship called the Captain Paris, and drones at a ship called the Happy Condor. Meanwhile, Giorgio Cafiero, head of the consulting company Gulf State Analytics, noted in an article for the American portal Responsible Statecraft that there is no denying that the coalition strikes have, to a significant extent, empowered the Houthis within Yemen and across the Arab world. This perception stems from the population of Yemen viewing these actions largely as a confrontation with the United States, which supports Israel and its military operations in Gaza. Nonetheless, these operations, which have cost the US some $1 billion, according to a new intelligence report, have ultimately failed to deter Ansar Allah which continues firing missiles and drones at vessels off Yemen's coast stated in the article. Clearly, there has been some damage to Houthi targets, but not at a significant level. The Houthis have suffered some losses, but they retain the ability to obstruct maritime shipping in the Red Sea, said Thomas Juno, an associate professor who focuses on the Middle East at the University of Ottawa's Graduate School of Public and International Affairs, in an interview with RS.